I wasn't planning to ride or even ride in this area. We're in the Cerritos Town Center, which is right across the street. It's like a bunch of restaurants and shopping areas. And my girlfriend wanted to come and I, I really didn't. She's like, oh, just drive me. And then, I don't know, take your bike. And then I thought about it. I've never ridden in this area. So I was like, you know what, that's a pretty good idea. So while she's going, doing what she needs to do, I'm out here on the hardtail giving it another rip. So yeah, there's no agenda. It's just kind of an exploring day and just see what spots we can find. There's a really cool one right behind me. Whoa. Oh no. I think I just broke the hardtail. I slammed on this. I slammed on the chain so hard. Definitely investing in a bash guard for this thing. So the bike works. I'm a little nervous though. Two times that I hit my sprocket. I think if I had a bash guard, I'd feel way more confident doing that and hopping up it. I don't want to mess up the sprocket. That's tight. These are the tight ones. When you have space. It's easy to turn around. These brakes are really good though. I'm just sliding. I think I can do it all the way. I think I can make it happen. Third time's a charm. Let's go. So I haven't really ridden any trails with the hardtail because everything's been wet. And I guess you could call this the first test that I've ever put the hardtail through. But it is a little more tricky in the sense that you have to try harder. With, with a full suspension, it's like, okay, the shock is just going to absorb everything. I could just plow through it. But that's not the case with the hardtail. You actually have to maneuver yourself so you don't get bucked. And that's what I noticed on this little section. See if we can get this nose bunk. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I 
jumped right before the rock. <laughs> I was sloppy. <laughs> when you see cardboard, slam on your brakes. Oh, it didn't work. Squeeze your brakes and you can drift. Come on up. Yeah, I think you can hop up that. A full cab on it. This right arm is feeling it. that one that one's good I broke a sweat on that one I think if I were to do it again I'd probably downshift to a harder gear so I have more catch when I do the full cab but full cabs definitely feel better and easier to do on a hardtail than a full suspension I feel like when I'm rotating on the full cab on my full suspension everything just sinks and it's really hard for me to yank it versus this since it's so rigid it's fairly easy or not easy, but it's it doesn't sag, right? Like the full suspension. It'd be so sick if you had pegs because you would just come, pop, ice, or toot that. Today was so dope. I feel like a bike is the ultimate exploration mobile. Like a car can get you to really cool places, but a bike can take you to even cooler places. There's just so many cuts within a city that a bike can get you to that a car can't. I mean, they're both cool, don't get me wrong. I love exploring on a car and a bike, but obviously my favorite is gonna be the bike. My poor sprocket took a, took a hit today. I definitely need to get a bash guard for this thing. It's cool because it has the mounts for a bash guard, so it's not gonna be a problem to install it. I just gotta order it and put it on. But luckily nothing broke. The chain is good, the sprocket's good, it wasn't bent. If the trails were open, I'd probably take it out on a trail, but since everything is still pretty moist, I just decided to ride some street. But by the time this video comes out, I'm sure things would have dried up already and I'll be able to take it out and really experience it 
on some mountains. But little by little, I can see myself falling in love with this bike. I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure, and I'll catch you on the next one.